Hey guys, welcome to the 143rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use comments. So, we basically know what comments are already. Just to make like a simple comment, all you have to do is do two forward slashes, and then following that, you can really type anything you want, and this code won't be compiled. And you can obviously put these two forward slashes after their existing code. So, you can just put two forward slashes, and then whatever. But what if we wanted to do multiple lines of comments? We could just do forward slash, enter two forward slashes, and just repeat that process over and over. But there's an easier way if you want to have like 40 or 50 uh, lines of comments in code. So you can just do a single forward slash, and then put an asterisk, and then following that, everything will be considered a comment. Now if we want to end this commenting, you can just hit enter, put another asterisk, and then another forward slash, and that'll just end the comment. Now everything inside of here will be considered a comment. So we can type anything we want there, and anything we want there. And in order to add another line to a comment, all we have to do is hit enter. So now we can have 50 lines of, commented, or of comments very easily. But what if you want to comment out existing code? You could do two forward slashes, two forward slashes over and over again, or you could do forward slash, an asterisk, and then end that down there. Or you could just select what you want to comment out and hit this little tool right on the toolbar up here, and it will basically just uh, comment out that code. And then if we want to uncomment it out, we just hit this button right here and we'll uncomment the selected lines. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to basically give a description of your method or really anything. So, if we were to just create um, an integer right here, it would give, or, an, yeah, an int. So if we were to just create a new integer right here, it would give us a little description of what it is. It says, represents a 32-bit signed integer. Well, how do we do that? It doesn't give us a description if we were to, let's say, create a new client down here, it just says class. Well, what we can do is just do three forward slashes and then summary should pop up. And basically this is just uh, XML and inside of uh, here we're just going to want to put our description for this client class. So I'm just going to say represents a person, many properties about the person. Alright, so that's not the best description, but you get the idea. So now if we want to see this in action, all we have to do is create a new client right here, and then right under that, it gives us a brief description of what it is. It says represent the person, many properties about the person. And that's just what we wrote up here. Alright, so now if we do client, C equals a new client. And we could do this for these properties as well. So if we wanted to say, for a summary about this, we just say um, represents the person's name. So now if we did c.name, see right there, it represents the person's name. And I think it's good practice to give the protection level if it's not public. So we could just say for internal use only. And I like doing this because I right off the bat know that it's internal when I do um, whatever dot name. And then it says, yeah, for internal use only, so that we know that it's internal. If you have a method, you can also do that as well, but there's other things that go along with methods. So if we were to just create a new method called, I don't know, name, right here, and we just have a pass through a string parameter, then if we do um, summary of that, we'll also get something for the parameter. So we can give a description of what this parameter is right here. And I'll just say the person's name, and this will just fix the person's name. I don't know what fix means, but whatever. Fix the person's name. All right. So now if we do c dot, um, oh, we have to make this public review. Say public. All right. So now, if we do c dot um, name right here, we see that it says fix the person's name, and then when we click enter on that and do a parenthesis, it gives us a description of what this string s is. It says the person's name. 
right? And then if you were to have multiple parameters like, uh, delete this right here, and if we were to have another parameter like int a, then if we do three comments, it would automatically show up for that. Or you could just type this in uh, yourself. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.